Real Action is brought to you by Pertec, with 103 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements. Hey, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest in one of my favourite parts of the world, and that's Inverell. And Copeton Dam is just down in front of me here. It's at nearly 100%. We're staying on the northern side of the dam, close to Inverell at, uh, at the foreshore park here. Uh, caravan's all been set up, so that's done before we even got here. So we've got some fantastic camping facilities, boats hooked up to the truck, boys are loading the rods. It's time to go and see if we can't find a golden perch or yellow belly as they call them in this part of the world, or hopefully even a Murray cod. Got him, mate? Yep. That's the shot. Nice yellow belly too, this one. Really nice. What are you, what's going on, Ty? Where's this, <laughs> where's this golden perch? Yellow belly, we've been here for all of about five minutes, five I'd minutes. say. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, just sounding around. It's actually my first cast. <laughs> and you've got a little curly tail grub on. And I reckon Ooh. what happens normally, mate, is everyone will change over and, and go with that curly tail grub once we, once we work out what they're biting on. Oh, how's that for a head shake? Decent. That's I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, spoil that. That, you're the net man, big fella. Come on. Sneak that in. Sneak that in. <laughs> well done. That's a cracker. Yeah. That is a beauty. They got some spikes on them too. Uh, like any member of the perch family, that's a big, that's a big golden perch. That one there. So a bit of eight pound leader. Really careful with those with those spikes through there. And, and like any perch, they've got that, that really savage spike on the gill plate there too, you've got to be careful of. How's that for electronics working in the dam? So we had that, uh, that active target we're looking at. You saw that fish come in. Yep, just seen him sitting over there in about 10, 11 metres. And I sort of just double checked what angle I was at and sort of make sure I wasn't going to hit anyone else in the boat. Quick cast over there, seen the lure come down, just a little couple of jigs right in front of him. And you can see on the on the video where he turns straight on it and they'll just quickly little wind, little wind away and you can see there he's just wasn't letting it get away at all. He's engulfed it. He's just he taking certainly it. Has. Yeah, so. That's good stuff mate, that's a fantastic start. That time of the afternoon, <coughs> excuse me, we're not going to get too much, too much fishing done uh, for the for the Golden Perch this afternoon, but we'll be back on the water tomorrow. I don't know if you're going to make it tomorrow. You've got a couple of things to do in the morning, so things, you yeah. might be another afternoon fisherman I'm, tomorrow. I'm not surprised you all this tomorrow afternoon, I'd say. <laughs> that's the shot, well done mate. All right, bud. Let it go. That's a cracking golden perch. Great way to start. Off you go, mate. Go on. Tail pinch. It's away. Well done. Good stuff. Ow. Ty's back on that on the sounder looking for those fish for us. And uh, Benny and I are madly casting. We're in that witching hour at the moment. The sun's dropping and just hopping these tiny little black curly tail grubs back down off the ledge, there's a little bit of water, fresh water running in, it's a magnificent looking spot. So obviously there's all sorts of food sources that are gonna get washed into a little area like this. And a little bit of breeze this afternoon, but this is just glassed out, magnificent. One thing better, mate, a fish would make, just make it. Fish would be unreal to finish it, the day. It would be good, wouldn't it? So keep working, son. We've seen uh, Ty got that cracking golden perch to start with. So we're just gonna have to keep working and see if we can't find one. Hopefully that wind's backing off and we're going to see a really nice day tomorrow with that barometer rising. That's a big thing with any of these inland native fish or any really shallow water fish. Um, those higher barometers definitely give you better bite windows. So looking forward to that. Might mean we've got a bit of a frost in the morning. So really nice calm bay here. It's a little bit windy in the main basin, but, um, but we'll sort that out. I'm just hoping to find maybe one more golden perch or even a, a Murray cod uh, along this here. And you can see this big rock face that just slides in. The other thing that happens with these rocky areas, the sun gets on them in the cooler months, actually heats that granite, heats that rock up, and, then, and it gives it slightly increased water temperature along the edges where the rocks are, and the fish will come and find that. It might only be 0.1 of a degree or 0.2 of a degree, 
but it can make a difference whether you're fishing for for um, golden perch, Murray cod, or bass even too. Those rocky faces, rocky cliff faces where the water pushes into it, they can be just sort of little places where it's just that little bit warmer. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. Freezing cold start on Cape and Dan this morning, but that's when the cod are quite often biting, get that high pressure coming across. Ty's having a fish again this morning. We've picked up a hitchhiker, so Liam Crespo's with us. Uh, he's going to have a bit of a fish as well. Um, ben, who was with us yesterday afternoon, he might join back in again later on. It's a bit like that here. We're camping and we've got the fire going and we've got people moving in and out, but I know you're keen to catch a cod. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so we can try and, uh, try and chase those. We're throwing swim baits and soft plastics around, and I know you've been seeing some more big yellow belly. We've got a cracking big yellow belly. Well, you got a cracking big yellow belly yesterday afternoon. So we'll chase those throughout the day as well. Plenty of options here at Copeton. On, on, on. Nice, yeah, bro, mate. nice. Little cod. Well no, done, yellow. mate. No, it's a cod, is it? No, little cod. Keep pressure on him. Little fella. Well done. <laughs> he just climbed on that, no, didn't he, Liam? Absolutely. Hey? I might sneak him in there. All right. We'll have him for the morning start. Yeah, that's that's awesome, isn't it? All right, pick that one up, Liam, and show him what a what a fat little coat and damn cod looks like. Oh, I can't believe how cold it is. It's a super frosty morning. Look at that pretty fish. Absolutely freezing. It's zero degrees, um, and uh, you know it's uh, it's going to warm up, and it's one of those days. Quite often we go fishing in far north Queensland, we don't want to see the sun today. I am just waiting for it to poke its head up over the side. We'll get Definitely. This, we'll get this fella back in. Well done. Right on, bud. Back in the water, eh? Catch him when he turns into one of those great big Cape and Dan Murray God. <laughs> Let him swim off. Oh dear. It's way warmer in the water than it is the outside. Off you go, mate. Well done. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Good stuff. I know it, this, this lure's just been in the water. It is way warmer in the water. It's about 16 degrees in the water. It's about zero or minus one out at the moment. So um, looking forward to the sun coming up. Yep. Oh, well, one cod? Yep. Or a yellow belly? Good one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Little, little fella. Do you want me to just, I can just grab him, I reckon, yep. mate. I think that'll be the way. <coughs> Lift him straight up and in. <laughs> cool, awesome. Wow. I'm liking that little swim bait today. Oh, they are so much warmer than, than what's happening <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just lay him down here for a second. So that's on swim bait, that one there, just rolling that low profile. Bait cast, a pretty little fish. Isn't it, isn't it? We are seeing some big ones swim around, and uh, that, so that one's just come out of those little spindly trees, so as that dams, as the dams got higher, um, they've just become flooded, and these fellas, I reckon, they, I reckon they'd be panicking and just hiding in amongst those spindly trees, not wanting to be eaten by some of the things we're seeing on the sander yeah, at the moment. Come back when you're a lot bigger, yeah. my friend, please. Well done, bud. That's the way, he's gone. Oh, there he is, there he is. Straight under the boat. Oh, it's not a big one, I don't think. Oh, here he is. Look at that, straight up. How yes. good is that? How good is that? Cool, look at that little, that's a little pet, that one. Take him home. Mate, you can just stay down the back, big fella. You got, you got the big yellow belly yesterday afternoon. It's all been happening up the front here so far. And that's on a, the wildest looking lure you've ever seen in your life. It has got so much going on, but spinner baits are just one of those lures that work, and I thought I'd give that a go for a minute. 
they're such picky things to work out what they're feeding on, aren't they? Definitely. Actually, seen a good follow, a couple of good follows on the spinner bait, and then you're just a bit unlucky there for one fish, but you've done well to get another one. Yes. I reckon we'll, well, probably won't even be the last one again this morning, but yeah, I don't think. Cool. He's a pretty looking fish, that bag. No he's, saws, no nothing on a No, nah, he's just, he's just perfect. He's a postcard, yeah. postcard nice fish, that fat. one. Yeah. And look, it's great to see Captain Dan, the recruitment that's, that's been happening. Uh, with all of the stocking is just fantastic, not only for, for uh, Murray Cod, but also for the perch as well. They're pretty competitive, these blokes, so it's always nice to be on the board. It's only a little fish, but it's a start anyway. Sun's out, starting to warm up a bit, which is good to see. Off you go, bud. Go on. <laughs> I reckon he's heading back into those sticks to keep away from some of these great big submarines we've seen swimming around so far. <laughs> He's a bit bigger, a bit bigger, is he? Yeah, he definitely got he's a bit more weight than that. that one. Last one that I. Yeah, he's a nice he's fat a looking fish. That one. Got that net crest bait. Oh, oh yes. there he goes. That's what we want to see. <laughs> I'm just about to say, or just we've just started scanning. Yeah, the <laughs> got him. That's what we want. Number four. We'll bring That's him up. go. Well done. Look at you. You can yeah. pull your hat off now. You, I'll pull your hood off now, Liam. People can see your face there. You've been hiding underneath that all, all morning. All morning. That was good. Whack. Another one on the. Look at the condition the of this fish. Bay. That's a slightly better fish. That one. That's good to see. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There we go. And you, you wonder who came up with that idea of a spinner bait in the first place. Got a few different outfits we're using at the moment. I'm on the the low profile bait caster, and in this part of the world where the cod grow really big. Sort of that 30, 30 to 50 pound braid, 50 to 60 pound leader, and hang on for grim death when you get the bite. That's a five to nine kilo rod, similar to what I'd use for barra fishing, I reckon. Yep. Look at that, what a beauty. That's another glorious green and gold looking cod. A little bit bigger than my first one. And the day's starting to warm up and so's the fishing, hopefully. Off you go, bud. Go on. <laughs> I tell you, water is so much warmer than the air temperature. Hey. How good is that? That's good. I'm happy with that, I've got to tell you. He's Clean there, Ty? Yeah, he's a decent guy, yeah, really. Oh, that's a good looking fish, that one there. I can see him cruising around. It's hard to see with the polarised sun, he's into, the, into that tannin water, but that's a solid fish, that one. Straight in the Yo! net. <laughs> Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Oh, good job. Thank you. That is a fat yellow belly, that fellow there. Wow. It's such a deadly technique using those, those tiny little grubs and winding them up. And that active target is such a successful way to do it. Um, Tyrone steering it at the moment there. And, and to see, the, to see the, um, the yellows just sitting there buzzing around, it's just a matter of aggravating them enough to get in the bite, isn't it? Yeah, so. just putting that little plastic in front of their face and then just getting, you can see when they turn around and react to it. And that's when you sort of, like what we call is a bit of a shake and bake, so. Shake and bake? Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a twitch and a wind up, and yeah, you can just see him come up and smash it. All right, mate, drop him back in the water, and see we can't find another one. That was pretty cool. It's amazing how electronics is just playing such a huge part in what we're doing here. So electric motor up the front, spot lock when we, when we electrically anchor when we mark the fish. But this whole system is just crazy. It's like a TV screen we've got here at the moment. Look at him coming, look at him go. Got him, got him, go! <laughs> How nice cool is there. that? Right there at the boat. Up here, Liam, get up here, mate. Come on, bud. That was pretty cool. Mate, he would have eaten that 30 <laughs> centimetres under the, under the boat. That was... Rattle, rattle, rattle. That's a, that's a nice fish. I've got the net there, mate. Thanks, Ty. He's, he's kicking around pretty good too in that, that dark tannin water. So God, it's actually warmed up a little bit. I've even taken my, I've taken my black wet weather pants off. Yeah, that's a pretty fish, that one. 
He's he's quite golden. That one, isn't he? That big one that Ty got. That first one we got, the real big one, was really black. Now that that's coming here for a sec, Ty. That, that is, that's what we call a golden perch. You can see why they're called goldens. Where well, that one you got, that real big one yesterday was quite black, wasn't it? So yeah, he was a bit darker. I'd say he's probably hanging around the rocks a bit more. Yeah, nice, a, nice clean oh, fish. Real pretty fish. I'm not sure what the stocking numbers are here in Copeton Dam of golden perch and Murray cod. There's also catfish here. Yep. Um, spangle perch. Spangle perch. Yep. The odd redfin, maybe? Yeah, I've heard of a few in the last couple of years, but they're not thick like they used no, to be. Which is good because yep. we want our natives to really be, oh, be kicking along. But there's there's massive amount of stocking goes on both with goldens and and uh, also with the with the Murray cod. So plenty of options. And the great thing about coming to Copeland, the fishing's, I'll tell you, it's been pretty damn good oh, for us so It has, far. hasn't it? Especially yeah, for the start of winter. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's good to see a few yellow belly coming, uh, coming on the chew. Nice one too. <laughs> nice fish. We come just bringing him in here. Get, got that net ready, yeah, Crespo? Mate. Get him in the oh, net, he's brother. A yeah. Yes. Woo. Well done, brother. Well done, mate. Awesome. Well done. Good stuff. Bring All him in right. here. We'll have a look at him. Oh yeah, he's a lovely fish. We're looking for a big one for you, Guesty. We're going to get you one, mate. Hopefully. Mate, it's, it, the show's not all about you, mate. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I still haven't got a cod yet, so. Well, that's right. Yeah. Hey, hey, hands in the air yeah. if you've got a couple of cod. Yeah. Two each, eh? Hey. When we talk about diet for golden perch in Copeland Dam, are we are we thinking shrimps, gabbies, small bait fish is the main diet? Very yep. small, very very small. Little, even some little nymphs and stuff like that. that yep. They'll yep. eat anything Insects. like that when they're picky. Cool, there you go, match the hatch, tiny little grub, like this little curly tail one here, has done the job again. We'll let him go now, beautiful yellow belly. Well done. So you reckon just ten metres out there? Yep. Got him. Got him. Yes. Wow. Nice, well done. How good is that? That is a good fish. That, oh, this is going to be a good one. That was teamwork. It I'm, was good teamwork. I'm loving that. Ties down on the sounder and he says, Guesty, you're right above one. Just pause there. And I dropped it down and uh, and then just slow rolled it. It's stopped again, slow rolled it. It's and then fish. whack, away it went. That was pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's as good as it gets, mate. And this is going to be a cracker, oh, I'm telling he's, you. He's doing a bit there, yeah. yeah. Light tackle, two to four kilo rods, some six pound braid, some eight pound Ooh. leader. Ooh. It is a nice fish. Two and a half thousand size spin reel, and I've got to tell you, it is good fun. And fishing Capeton's all about matching your gear with the sort of fish that you're going to tangle with. So in the yellow belly front, I've got to tell you, this is a good battle on that light tackle at the moment. And I reckon this is going to be a nice fish. This is going to be. Oh, getting a massage. Yeah. It's all happening. The big fella's up behind me. He's finally caught one. Yeah, well, I haven't caught one yet. Come on, Oak. Come on, Liam. Sneak him in that net, mate. Oh. That's a big yellow belly, that one. I reckon, I'm honestly going to say, I reckon that's, <laughs> that's my pre-birthday yellow belly right there. That is a horse. Hey, well, I hung around, like the guys, just, you know, I'll let the guys catch the smaller ones. Get that up here, lift that up. Come and show oh, us. Oh my goodness me. That's what we wanted. Oh. Handshake there, big fella, get him behind me. <laughs> I've got to say, that's as much your fish as mine. That was some very good guiding and, and electronic, well, how can we, what can we call that? Electronic, electronic management. Yeah. Electro yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. It's There's my grub. Oh. And that sh shows you why you have to keep tension on big fish when you're fighting them, because that has just popped out. And have a look at this thing. This thing, oh, come on, come on, come on. This is a big golden perch. I love my Australian natives. And I reckon, I'm honestly going to say this is my PB golden perch. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That is a cracker. Well done. Hey? That's awesome. Look at him. Caped and damp. So you're going to come here and chase your big cod. But for a golden perch, like I, know, I know they get bigger. That's a, tra that's a trophy. That is a trophy. Fish. That's doesn't, right up there. doesn't matter if you're home and you're chasing a, a snapper and you catch a sort of, you know, a 20 pounder. For me, like that, that's as that's good awesome. as catching a big cod here. That is absolutely fantastic. And I'm stoked with it. Look at the colour of it. It is awesome. black. Whoa, oh, hang in there, really? big fella. That's an absolute ripper. Look at that thing. Beautiful. 
Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page to get you hooked up every week. We're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome Scanstrut Rock wireless phone charger and inflatable waist belts from BLA, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Check that out, that's a magnificent big golden perch. Well, they call them golden perch, I can tell you that's very black. That one there, we've had a fantastic time fishing Copen Dam oh. just out of Inverell and staying at the Northern Foreshores Park. Got the van set up there and it's just been awesome. Murray Cod, Golden Perch, Copen Dam, I've got to tell you, I'm pretty damn happy. Liam oh. Crespo, uh, Tyrone Edmonds, Michael Guest. You've been watching Real Action. I'm going to let this fella go. After a quick photo, we'll catch you next time. Bye now. Oh, mate, off you go. What a ripper you are. <laughs> there we go. Real Action brought to you by Dog Pro Plus, look after your best mate with a complete and balanced diet. Hyundai high performance forklifts, smart technology and safety, they're the driver's choice.